Good morning, sweetheart. You look gorgeous. I don't know if you saw that, but I just totally chipped my tooth. Huh. Any hoot, I'm driving. You must be really, really tired of this scenery by now. Like, I should really, like, hang a wind chime or a dream catcher or a wooden spoon or something that, like, gives my truck personality, dude. Because, like, it's gonna be really boring, basically, to just hone in on my face and listen to me talk. You know, even though that is kind of uh, the main point of these is basically just to talk drop a line and a message but well I'm on my way to work I'm driving right now without the air conditioning you know what that's like I bet you don't I bet you have no idea what that's like in here in Tennessee like mm, until about 8 a.m. you can actually drive with your windows closed without air conditioning and feel fine it feels exactly fine actually I had to turn the AC off because I was cold I was cold me uh, Mr. Uh, Reptile, but um, but yeah, I'm driving around without the AC on and uh, going to work. And uh, uh, I, I texted you back this morning um, because, like, I turned my phone off as soon as I went to bed because I knew that, like, if I left it on, uh, I would not go to bed as quickly as I needed to. And and so, like, I I. I kind of cheated on my technique, my, or my technique, but my routine. What I normally do is like, oh, well, I leave it off to charge it, that way it charges up faster. And then I wait until I get to my first stop, and then I turn it on. Because then I act as if, like, me turning it on for the first time, because usually by that point you're up and awake and you're, you text me. And so, like, I don't know, there's something very comforting to me about, like, turning my phone on for the first time and, and like, getting texted by you. So, like, I don't know, it's, it's very, it's like the equivalent of if you were right next to me and you said good morning, you know, the equivalent of that. It's a greeting, you know. Even though it's, it's like several hours delayed, you know, not several, but an hour and a half, two hours. So even though it's delayed, it's still like I'm turning my phone on and you're the first thing on there. And, and I absolutely love that in the morning. So it, it, it's a great way to start my day, you know? Uh, gives it a little kick. So, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on my way to work. And see, like talking about this makes me think of um, the fact that uh, if everything goes to plan, uh, I won't need that for three or four days, you know, because, like, you'll be there to actually give that to me. You'll be there to actually say hello. Um, although it'd be funny if, like, you were up here and you just texted it. <laughs> so, like, I would turn my phone on and you would give me the cold shoulder in the morning and then I would turn my phone on and be like, good morning, top of the day to you. And, you know, like, I, I hope it actually wouldn't be in an Irish voice. <laughs> Sorry. This thing is going nowhere, dude. All right. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I, I can't wait for you to come up here. Uh, even with your heathen children with their, their Oreo mustaches and, like, Kool-Aid stains and bare feet, you know? Even with that, I'm okay with it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, I can't skip any days until she comes up here because if I have to skip a day, I'm gonna skip a day. So, you know, and we'll have more time with one another. Um, so, so I'm willing to do it, and I'm going to do it. And you have no choice over the matter. So I'll just tell you there is a school holiday or some bullshit. You won't believe it, but I won't care. So, because I'm going to spend as much time as I can with you and the boys. So, I hope you didn't think that, like, that was kind of like an addendum. Like, oh, and he added the boys to it because I looked at, into the camera at that point in time. It was just natural, um, 